Hello again. I was planning to talk about the subject of Holocaust denial the other day, but then I remembered that the following day was International Holocaust Remembrance Day and thought that it might be a little tacky to wear such a topic on that particular day. In many countries, denying that the Holocaust took place or minimising the scale of it is a criminal offence. This means that free and open discussion of that particular episode in history cannot be undertaken in those countries, which is in itself a shocking state of affairs. I say this not because I have any doubts myself about the accepted narrative of the Holocaust, but because it is the thin edge, edge of an exceedingly dangerous wedge which ultimately makes all discussion of history impossible. As viewers probably know, I've written on the subject of concentration camps for a number of publications, including the Jewish Chronicle. I give a link to this piece in the description to this video. This and some other stuff I wrote about Poland during the war led to the then Polish ambassador getting pretty ticked off with me. And after I'd been interviewed on the BBC World Service, the Polish embassy contacted the BBC and tried to get them to apologise for what I had said. The BBC refused, but it rather means that Poland is off the list of my potential holiday destinations. <laughs> what the embassy was most angry about was that I happened to mention in passing that there had been a concentration camp in Poland in 1938, long before the Germans invaded the country. The thumbnail to this video shows a piece from the London Times from Saturday, March 26, 1938. It reports that Jews were being taken to the concentration camp at Baretsa Katushka. To understand how much and why this infuriated the Polish ambassador when I talked about it on the wireless, you need to know that using the very expression Polish concentration camp is illegal in Poland. They certainly had a concentration camp, that at Beretza, but nobody can speak of it out loud. This then is the danger when once you start making the discussion of certain aspects of history illegal. Before you know where you are, you will also be making it illegal to talk about any bits of your country's history which you would rather forget. I suppose I ought to make it clear that Beretsa Katushka was not a death camp like Treblinka. It was a concentration camp. That is to say it was a place where civilians were locked up without being tried in the courts, not for what they had done, but rather for who they were. So at Beretsa there were communists, Ukrainian nationalists, Jews and so on, people who had in the main committed no crimes which brought them within reach of the law, but there were people that the government would rather see taken out of circulation. The fact that a concentration camp was running in Poland before the German invasion is very awkward for the modern Polish government, and so they felt that the easiest way of dealing with the embarrassment was to make it against the law to talk about Beretsa Katushka, and so it was that the already existing law relating to denying the Holocaust was added to and it became illegal to mention either Beretsa or the camps for political prisoners set up in the late 1940s after Poland fell under the shadow of the Soviets. This has been a very successful project, as can be seen by looking again at the thumbnail to this video. Anti-Jewish agitation in Poland, Jews sent to a concentration camp, Although it's not against the law to talk about these things in this country, the Polish efforts to suppress knowledge of them as their very own concentration camp uh, cannot be mentioned, have been enough to prevent people in Britain even knowing about it. I will say clearly that I have very little use personally for those who deny the Holocaust, but that is quite a different thing entirely from wishing to see them sent to prison for doing so. I've said many times that the truth doesn't need to be protected from lies. This is never necessary. Passing a law which dictates that one must not say anything to contradict a certain narrative, or indeed question it, 
is pointless and it will, if left unchallenged, result in just what we see now in Poland, where it is illegal and one could be sent to prison for three years for it, simply for mentioning the Polish concentration camp at Beretsa Katushka.